everybody. Welcome back to A Tranquil Life. My name is Cheryl, and we are on week 11 of the Holiday Grand Plan. The week 11 starts today. It is Garage Week. So, I hope everybody's planning is going well. I hope you haven't fizzled out. <laughs> it's uh, it's a little hard at this point because you're you're just kind of getting to the point where you're over it, but you got to push through. You got to push through and get this done because it's going to be totally, totally worth it in the end. This past week was family room week. How did your family room cleaning and organizing go? I did attic week. Well, I had intended to do attic week, but it was a total bust for us because my husband's back was hurting. So I kind of didn't do much this past week. I, I piddled and I got some small things done, but nothing, nothing major. It was kind of like a rest week for me. It ended up being... But this week, my husband is going to tackle the attic, and I've got some plans for this week as well. So that's that's what's going on here. Luckily, I have a small house, and I've got the majority of everything that's major done already. So if you've got a if you've got a bigger house, I do feel for you. My plans have actually changed for Christmas, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we go. So November. We did vote. So we did a, that was eventful. We voted in our presidential general election. And so I can tag that off of my bucket list. There's that. I made that one easy, didn't I? <laughs> Maybe next year I'll make them all that easy. Things I'm going to do anyway. So that's the bucket list. So, like I said, I did Attic Week. Well, had Attic Week on here last week. And did not make that happen. But there's still time. Notes to myself. Almost there. Keep going. You gotta, you gotta encourage yourself, motivate yourself, and regardless of what happens, you know you're going to be okay. This is true. If, if there's something that I don't get done, my kids aren't going to not love me anymore. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you have to put things into perspective. You know, you have no control over the outside world, but you control your world. This is very true. And that is part of the last one's part of my news. So I put out my turkeys and pilgrim decorations for Thanksgiving, added them to the, the fall decorations. I picked up a couple recipe items, putting those on my pantry inventory sheet. I bought the, th the stuff for my son's noodle, tuna, tuna casserole for, for Thanksgiving, bought two gifts. And I did um, got I did get my holiday stamps, so ready to go there. And did a memory of the attic from when I was growing up. I added five Christmas cards on my to-do list, and I noticed a very personal um, this week. I noticed for myself. So moving on to week eleven. Now here's what. Here's what I have planned. I am, it was supposed to be two weeks of working at the other place. I'm going to condense that to one week because I took a, an inventory of what, it, what all needs to be done up there and I can do it in one week. So this week is going to be my catch-up week. This is going to be my week when I go back through all of my, from September, all of my weekly assignments, I'm going to write on this page everything that I did not get done, and I'm going to hopefully get everything done this week. I'm going to catch up on my wrapping. I'm, well, I think the wrapping's the only thing that I'm behind on, other than a few cleanings a few cleaning things I need to finish up. So that's going to be my garage week, because I don't have a garage. So let's go over garage week. <clears throat> and you can add to your planner as we go or add to it later. Let's see what our assignments are this week. 
Are your work gloves ready? It's time to tackle garage storage areas this week in the holiday grand plan. The waning days of autumn are a good time to route every, root out household storage areas. So we're ready to access extra tables, chairs, and seasonal decorations. Cooler but not yet cold weather eases the job and we'll feel good knowing that storage areas are clean and prepared for winter cold. In holiday prep, we look ahead to Thanksgiving meal and to see the family's holiday clothing and see too the holidays family clothing all right holiday prep make one batch of holiday goodies and one holiday meal uh, to freeze so if you are continuing to do that then by all means put that on your planner and uh, for yourself to get that done buy two canned food items from menus Get two of each, one to use and one to donate to Food Drive. When I go over my ketchup things, I'm also going to do a full inventory of what food I have, what I still need, and make a list of that as well. Buy one eighth of to buy gifts, save all receipts, note return policy before buying, and ask for gift boxes. Also, going to do the gift thing, the gift list as well get everything written down that I still need to do for that. Wrap and label packages. If needing to ship, get some shipping boxes now and store packages in them. Work at least one hour a day on homemade gifts. Review and revise menus and other plans. So this is a week where we will be reviewing. So it's a good time right now to get a handle on what you still need to get done, what you what what can wait, if there's anything on your list that you just don't see happening and it's not a big deal, then go ahead and push that to the if I have time list. And that way you're not going to feel so pressured. Plan your table setting. Plan your centerpiece, make as much possible now, or order it from a florist, if you do that kind of thing. Centerpiece, as well as your place settings. Do you um, put little turkeys, or, or do you fold your napkins a certain way for Thanksgiving? You know, do you, do you do anything special at your table, at your place settings, to make the, the table extra special? Reserve any items needed to be borrowed or rented. And get everyone's holiday clothes purchased, cleaned, and pressed. So that that's very that's a very comprehensive Thanksgiving task list other than your meal, your meal prep. So, so my plans have changed. My daughter has invited us to her house for Christmas. This is what I've been waiting on my entire life. <laughs> I don't have to host this year. So I am extremely happy about that. I, I At first I said no. Immediately I said no. And then the more I talked to, to my husband about it and the more I thought about it, I went, what are you doing? This, this is what you've been waiting for. <laughs> I said, the only thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put my new my new Christmas bedding on my bed and I am going to put up a tree and that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's going to be it. I'm cooking food to take to my daughters. <clears throat> so there'll still be lots of uh, food that I'll need to take with us but but as far as decorating the whole house and making arrangements for guests and all that, I'm off the hook. <laughs> so very happy. Those of you who are still hosting it's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to have a lot of love and laughter and joy in, in your celebrations. And all of this effort is going to be so worth it. And you know it is. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. So we must plug on. We must plug on. It's going to, it, it, I mean, goodness, we've got three weeks till, a little less than three weeks till Thanksgiving. And after that, we've got maybe four, well, four weeks till Christmas. So plenty, plenty of time, plenty of time. Okay, 
Now I will go ahead and decorate this. Um, actually, I'm going to save this for next week, week 12. This is what I'm going to be working on off of this week. So this is just going to be a catch up. Go forward with your planner the way you have been and keep up the good work. Get that garage cleaned out. Get your decorations identified to where you know where they are. You can grab them when you're ready and get your Thanksgiving plans finalized and it's, it's going to happen. So until I see you next week for week 12, happy planning. Mm -hmm.